And joining us this evening uh, is Ravi Shankar Prasad, Deputy Leader of Opposition in the Rajya Sabha, representing the BJP. Also joining us uh, is uh, Dr. Abhishek Manu Singh, we very senior leader of the Congress Party and member of Parliament uh, in the Rajya Sabha. Uh, Dr. Abhishek Manu Singh, we we've heard uh, a lot of do's uh, and don'ts that the BJP has been saying as far as uh, the announcement of uh, Narendra Modi uh, as the prime ministerial candidate is concerned. But before I come to you, let me ask uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, we've seen the two-day meet between the BJP and the RSS. Are you any closer to the anointment of Narendra Modi as the prime ministerial candidate? Just what is taking so, you so long? Is it once again the speed breaker of Mr. L.K. Advani, the veteran leader and leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha, Sushma Swaraj, who are opposed to the timing even at this stage? Well, first of all, <clears throat> Navika, let me clarify. The two-day meeting you are talking about was of the mass uh, affiliate organization where the discussion was basically on internal security, on persecution of SC and ST, on the country's economic situation, the indigent from China and terrorism and whole range of other uh, activities for which proper feedback was taken. This issue was not on agenda. But yes, certainly, as far as naming a particular leader as the Prime Minister is concerned, the party's parliamentary board is to take a final call. Even the party's president has repeatedly stated. Why there is so much of talk of Narendra Modi? Obviously because of his popularity, his decision making, his record of governance, his impeccable integrity and the popularity of Narendra Modi is directly proportional to the way Dr. Manmohan Singh and Sonia Gandhi have run the country. But as far as the final call is concerned, that call will be taken by the parliamentary board. Advani ji is a very powerful senior leader, our mentor, our guide, our tallest leader. We all have the highest regard for him. Sushma ji is equally a senior leader. But uh, Navika always remember one thing, unlike the Congress party, there is no Raag Darbari in the BJP. We discuss, we have differences, we have viewpoints, but once a decision is taken, everyone stands united. That's how the party function and parliamentary board is the appropriate forum for that. Mr. Ravishankar Prasad, very humbly can I just ask you a follow-up question. The question is, if the equation is so simple that it's Narendra Modi has been declared the head of the campaign committee, he's a very popular leader, very successful chief minister, and therefore it's natural for him to be projected as a prime ministerial candidate for the party. If it's such a simple equation, just what is taking the BJP so long? Isn't it the internal questions from veteran leader L.K. Advani and at this stage, just like in the past after your Goa uh, uh, meeting, uh, Mr. L.K. Advani had resigned from his post, you can't afford another such uh, showdown with Mr. L.K. Advani. Is that the reason why you're taking so much time over the announcement? I think, Madam Navika Kumar, you are being a little hard on Advani ji. He has dueled the BJP, he has reared the whole range of second generation leaders, including Mr. Narendra Modi. All of us have been almost trained by him. We are proud of him. Surely, he being the senior leader, there will be discussion, there will be exchange of ideas, there will be views. His ideas are entitled to the highest of respect. But at least allow that process of consultation, the process of engagement, the process of consideration and the final decision to be taken for which the competent body is the parliamentary board. I repeat, we have no Rak Darbari here, where something is said about a prince and everyone has to follow. Therefore, being a democratic party, allow the decision making to be there, but let me repeat, once the decision is taken, everyone speaks in the same voice. But having said that, I must also reiterate that Mr. Modi is indeed very popular for the reasons which I have stated earlier. <coughs> Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, now that the Prime Minister himself has said that he is ready to work under Rahul Gandhi and the fact that the BJP is veering towards making 2014 elections, the presidential form of elections, really making it a Rahul Gandhi versus Narendra Modi kind of elections, is the Congress now prepared to field Rahul Gandhi as the Prime Ministerial face? I know you've been asked that question several times, but this time, uh, it is coming on the back of the Prime Minister himself stating that he is ready to work under Rahul Gandhi. Now is the state set for declaring Rahul Gandhi as the Prime Ministerial candidate? 
Uh, Navika, after your very long two questions and even longer answers, I hope you will give me at least two minutes. First of all, the Prime Minister has said nothing new. As the last answer to the last question on board the flight back from Petersburg, he said that I have already said this earlier, Rahul Gandhi would make a very good Prime Minister, he's an ideal choice and I would want him to be and I'm not wanting to be again a Prime Minister. So that is not anything new, that's point one. He said so earlier. Second, the Congress party, the Congress president decides. This has been the wish and the desire of many, many congressmen, many congress workers. The prime minister said so earlier. But ultimately, it's a decision which the party and the president will take. And we are not uh, going to say anything till that decision is taken. Thirdly, when I hear the word the Raag and Darbari again and again, I can only say that unlike the BJP, when we sing Raags, we make it musical. We don't have jarring cacophonies leading to chaos. There is the only rag you hear from the BJP for the last six months, every t since the time Modi has entered into the fray, is the most dissonant, the non-harmonious, non-musical, jarring tones. The jar occurs, first of all, within the BJP, where you have the sulkers, the eternal prime minister and waiters, the jostlers within the BJP. From there you go to the NDA, the larger circle, where there is open rebellion and dis, uh, uh, dissatisfaction over Modi's name. So this is a very strange kind of a party which has converted the battle from a focus into the BJP as a supposedly responsible opposition party into Modi. And I think that is ultimately for the BJP to decide whether the reducing the BJP to Modi is at all responsible politics by them. Thirdly and... Uh, uh, but but Dr. Singhvi, what about... about... BJP may repeatedly shout... Can I just finish? BJP may repeatedly shout from the yeah. rooftops, oh, it's a presidential, we are making a presidential. This election, no election before, no election after in India is going to be, just because you say it, a presidential form of election. In India, ultimately, people elect parties, they elect ideologies, they elect manifestos, they elect policies, they elect performance. They do not elect individuals. The party then elects its prime minister and no amount of but Dr. Singhvi, of I have a counter question the there. Bush is going to change that by the BJP. So remember that it's very important. And I no. am certainly not going to be uh, accepting any of those premises which the BJP is speaking on this debate. But why yes, did you, please, Do, Dr. Dr. Singhvi, why did you choose this very same contest in 2009? You chose this very same contest, the presidential contest in 2009. I clearly remember in 2009 we the Congress did. party declared we the name did. of Dr. Manmohan Singh as the prime ministerial candidate while on the other hand you had <laughs> Mr. L.K. Advani. Why are you suddenly going back to your old let position me, that the Congress believes in you know, its let, own form let, of politics where we would declare the name after the elections? Are you scared? Are you scared that Rahul let me, let me respectfully, may let just me respectfully, not be a, a contest which is very comfortable for the Congress party? Let me just jog your memories a little bit. Let me unequivocally tell you the Congress has never, I repeat, never subscribed to the presidential form. We have never directly or indirectly suggested that any general election is a presidential form of election between individuals. The Congress has never wavered from its standard path that it is an election between parties. Yes, Mr. Advani was sir? so desperate to be seen as never. Please, you are completely mistaken Dr. in your interpretation. Dr. Singhvi, what about 2009? Dr. Manmohan Singh was declared as the Prime Minister in 2009. We never suggested remotely. Am I wrong or right, I'm Dr. Sorry, Dr. Singhvi? I'm sorry. An incumbent, an incumbent Prime Minister who was suggested there is no change today does not mean that we were making it into a presidential form of government at all. Is this your Mr. same Manmohan position Singh in 2014? Country, Dr. Manmohan Singh himself is this going to be your standard position in 2014 as far as Dr. Singh is concerned? He is still the incumbent. Mr. Dr. Mr. Dr. Manmohan Singh, so why Dr. Manmohan Singh if you be check, your face for 2014? If you check up, Mr. what we said then and what we are saying now, let's be very clear. Dr. Manmohan Singh is the Prime Minister of this country. He is the leader of the party in Parliament. There is no vacancy for the Prime Minister's post. As far as post-election is concerned, we will decide our candidate. That was the line in 2009, that's the line today. And be very clear on that. Yes, Dr. Manmohan Singh had also said then, pre-2009, what he has said post-2009, 
that I would like Mr. Rahul Gandhi very much to be in government. I would like very much for Rahul Gandhi to be the Prime Minister, which is what is repeated. So I don't see all, it is actually the first and foremost the BJP and <coughs> then the media making it with all these uh, sensationalisms and adjectives into a A versus B contest. Not one statement have been made ever in 2009 or prior or thereafter to suggest what you are suggesting. Not once. Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, from Raj Darbari to Raag Darbari, we've had uh, the rebuttal coming in from uh, Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi. The question that I want to put to you is that a very senior leader of the BJP said that the de facto decision on Narendra Modi has been taken. It's just the de jure announcement that's left. Given that fact, is it now incumbent upon the BJP to take a position to overrule the veteran leader, Mr. L.K. Advani, and along with him, some other senior leaders like Sushma Swaraj, because they are certainly not approving of the timing ahead of the five-state assembly election for an announcement on Modi. Are you ready to overrule Mr. L.K. Advani and the other senior leaders? First of all, Navika, you are not being fair to either Advani ji or to Sushma Swaraj. Both are our tall leaders. Advani ji, as I said, is the mentor of the party, has brought the BJP here. In the parliamentary board formal meeting, all the call will be taken. Surely, earlier there too, consultations do take place. In title too. Because the problem is, uh, regardless of what the eloquence bab of Mr. Abhishek Manu Singh be there, there is not even a sargam in Congress party. There is only one rag. Howsoever Besura, it is Rag Darbari, because no one can afford to even sing other Rag. And here is a pathetic situation that the Prime Minister of India, after nine and a half years, is forced to say repeatedly, I am willing to work under Rahul Gandhi. Navika, whom they name their leader is their call. But let on your channel, let me raise certain issues. <clears throat> Mr. Rahul Gandhi is indeed a formidable leader of the UPA government, almost number two after Sonia Gandhi. What is his view on the declining rupee vis a -vis dollar, on the sinking Indian economy, on the current account deficit, on the fiscal deficit, on inflation, on Chinese in uh, invasion in India and so many times uh, repeated incursions, on terrorism, on a whole range of strategic issues which India is suffering today. We have not heard but a Mr. single Ravishan word from 